Time to do some Xbox 360 games. Sonic 06, the much better version. Even if it's a bit glitchier, you can install it so the loading screens are shortened and it runs at a better frame rate with better graphics. So there, there's the argument. I read a comment where someone said that they said that um, they enjoy Sonic 06, though I don't think they got the... I said that I do like this version. Like, this is the better version that most people should play, not the PS3 garbage. Alright, next game is Sonic Generations. It's a fun game. Great way to celebrate Sonic's 20th anniversary. And this year, we got Sonic Frontiers. Can't wait for that. There's the disc that I stupidly wrote on when I was younger. It was an absolute moronic thing to do and I blame the YouTubers I watch saying oh get a sharpie if you want to make a custom thing shut up no one cares about your stupid opinion epicness also known as Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing with Banjo and Kazooie uh, this was actually the first Sega game I ever played that wasn't in relation with Mario Never notice. Oh, never mind. Don't need to shoot. But this is the first Sega game I ever played. It is definitely something that holds a strong place in my heart. And I adore it just because of so many reasons. And I will be recording a few clips on PS3 soon once I get that. It's supposed to have come today, but it didn't. Uh, Sonic All Stars Racing Transformed. Another decent game. <coughs> I remember I found this one actually harder than the 3DS version. And when I, I actually they started crying when I lost because I was about eight and I cried. When I lost, and <laughs> I think my brother said, uh, because I was playing with BD Joe, he said, "Oh, I I'll bet BD Joe doesn't cry when he when he loses," and that kind of upset me. Uh, there's the disc, and yeah, fun game. Ah, uh, this atrocity. Sonic Unleashed. This is definitely the hardest Sonic game I have ever played. You can argue for yourselves. Ooh, it's so much more fun than Sonic 06. Well, guess what? Sonic 06 debuted in the HD. This didn't. This didn't debut the HD Sonic games. Wait, like, this is actually a bad Sonic game to have a good HD title. Wait. Like, this is the worst modern Sonic game, and not only is the Werehog section bad, after the Werehog, the first Werehog level, you have to do the plane levels. The plane levels are the worst. The plane levels ruin this game. There's the atrocious disc, and that's it. That's all I have to say. And Shadow the Hedgehog, a very decent game to say the least. I find it fun. Yeah. Come on. Ah. The uh, that was so tough to open. Shut up over there! Sorry about that. That was just some idiots shouting. And yeah, good game. And now we're moving on to the last two sections. Starting off with the Wii games, we have Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing again. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, why did you buy again? Well, I have a funny story with this particular version. I saw a compilation of every single All-Star, and I saw that there was the me character. See, on the back it says, play as your own me's. 
and also I saw that the filter on the video made it look very colourful and vibrant. Little did I know, that didn't look at all like it. And this was, this is definitely the worst version other than the PC version. Definitely do not play it. Next up, Sonic Colors. Uh, another decent Sonic game. And it's weird that they didn't wait longer to remaster it, even though I didn't want it remastered. Like, but that's just me. This is definitely an unnecessary game to remaster, mainly because it's only 10 years old. It's not like Sonic uh, Sonic Adventure 2, where it's now tw uh, 20 years old. Almost 21 years old. And this is a fun game. And you can see the Orbit and Cube Alter on the back. One of the few games that they're in. And yeah, this is a good game. I was debating on whether to put this in or not, but... Um, it does say Sega down here, so I might as well count it. And it has Sonic's name in the title. Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games. I've only played this game a few times. Um, there's the disc. Very nice. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And that's rather fun. And the last of the Wii games is the first game that I ever played that starred Sonic. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Funny story, I rented this game from the library, I believe. And, um... I remember that I absolutely loved this game, and... I always thought that it was supposed to be similar to Sonic Boom, weirdly enough, because I watched Sonic Boom, because I wanted to see if there were any Sonic TV shows when I was younger. Though this is a great game. I'd love to try more of the Olympic Games uh, titles. Disc. And I like the yellow colouring of the case. I hear the disc spinning like this. It's ASMR! If anyone wants to make a 10 hour loop of that, do it and tell me about it in the comment section. Uh, moving on to the final game. Final video game I have the stars Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Ride. Uh, Sonic Riders? No! Uh, Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed for the Wii U. This is definitely one of my favorite, uh, this is definitely my most played version of the game. I've played it to death. I remember I, I was actually having a hard time at school because I was just longing to get back, at, back home. But it wasn't even that worth it to get back home because it was so annoying. It was annoying me so bad when Ever I failed a mission when I was trying to unlock ages. The furthest I've got is only a few stars away from unlocking Riala, but that's about it. And I don't, I don't think about completing this version. Uh, and some honourable mentions that can't make it into this video because I gave them away. I used to have another copy of Sonic 06 that I got for Christmas, and then I just sold it for the atrocity known as Mario Kart Wii. And I also used to have Sonic Riders, but I didn't like it that much. Though I do plan on playing it sometime soon, maybe on, I don't know, X, uh, maybe GameCube, seeing as that's one of the only things that is available on, because I can't play it for PS2 because it will be a real cost to get a PS2. Can't do original Xbox because my Xbox is kind of messing up. Yeah, so GameCube is probably where I'm going to get it. And that concludes my Sonic collection.
Well, not Sonic Collection, but Sonic Game Collection. The Sonic Game Collection is definitely a great thing to have because you get awesome games like this and then absolute atrocities like this. And even if it is a bad game, I'll collect it no matter what. And I'll probably play it if I have a good controller for the game. Alright, enough stalling. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, consider sharing this video with your friends. Maybe get them to subscribe to me if you haven't already subscribed to me already. And leave a like. It means the world to me. Any of you who have, all 20, 123 of you who have subscribed, thank you. See you next time.